What's good YouTube? Giants fan 696 back here with another video today. And today we are doing a breakdown of the new touch passer badge in NBA 2K24. Straight from 2K themselves. The definition of this badge is players who quickly move the ball upon receiving it will get faster pass animations with touch passer. We're gonna test out and see if this badge is good or not, if you need it, and if you do what tier you need it on to be most efficient with your attribute points and this badge obviously is all based on your pass accuracy you need 74 pass act for bronze 82 for silver 90 for gold and 95 for hall of fame what i did is i made these custom rosters edited just kind of picked two random players harden and maxi to have those thresholds of pass act with either bronze silver gold hall of fame like i said and then i also did one with 73 pass act which is just the next number below what bronze would be with no touch passer on them at all we're just going to test it out see what it looks like and just something else to keep in mind they have no pass style on i'm not a big fan of pass styles i like having no pass style on i think you get better animations that way so let's get into it so first let's test out what it looks like with just none this is no touch passer on at all let's just see what it looks like uh we could do full court just so you get a little bit more length on our passes and I want to make sure I have Maxi and Harden on my team because those are players I edited. And then Embiid and Tobias Harris, they're not going to do anything. That's just about it. So this is what no touch passer looks like. Honestly, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. You can see just wing to wing passes look good. Even if I come back here. Like I'm getting good pass animations and this is 73 pass act with no no touch pass here so like they said I'm trying to throw fast because that's what the bad description says good animations when you throw fast even though just that in comparison because right now like I said they don't have the badge on but so that's what nothing but it looks like with none so let's look look at uh bronze touch pass here now and if I didn't make it clear before I put it on both of them for each badge um that i do so they'll both have bronze they'll both have silver gold hall of fame so let's see what bronze looks like all right here i'm out of the way so let's say i want to throw from here so i mean i don't know i don't maybe it's a little faster but i don't i really don't think it's a big difference to go go and spend batch points on it that's just me yeah i mean it looks a little i think it looks maybe a little bit better but not, nothing significant enough i don't think so let's let's go and see what silver looks like again so um, it's it's good passes but I don't is it really that big of a difference from having no touch passer to this to waste your attributes points on it that's that's really the question you have to ask yourself right is if you think it's worth it or not so like right like I'm throwing good passes right but I was also throwing good passes with no touch passer at all it's not like they couldn't catch the ball or something so I don't I don't know We'll see. Let's see what Golden Hoff look like. And if it looks the same, then we'll, I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking is the best thing to do. Again, like it's nothing crazy. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's anything special really. Yes, I'm throwing the passes. I think the badge is doing what it's supposed to, but I think passing without the badge is still good enough where it makes it not worth it with the attribute points. I don't know. Maybe I'll be blown away by Hall of Fame. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. All right, same thing. Now we got Hall of Fame. So this is with 95 pass hack on Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely zooming it, definitely throwing it fast. Like I said, it, my my concern is the same. Same. Well, if you're making a player 
you want to be as efficient with those attribute points as possible. And I just don't know if pass sacks worth it to, to throw the ball fast enough. If you're someone who passes a lot, it might be worth it. But look, I'm, you know, I'm throwing like perfect passes, but I just don't know if it's worth it. So what I actually did is I also set up two rosters with Maxi and Harden having 50 pass act and 25 pass act just to see what that looks like and kind of come and I'll compare it to what it looks like on half touch passer so like half touch pad it does look good no not to the badge but I want to see if it's worth it if they made 50 or 25 pass act that much unplayable because right now I tell you I would take no badge over having to have because I got 73 pass act and to me it wasn't much different than the hall of fame pass pass act so that's just me um that's what I would recommend but I want to see, see, is it even worth putting pass hack on my guy at this point? Let's see. Let's walk out of bounds with Harris. All right, so here are Maxi. All right, so you can see it's slower. But I'm still throwing, like, Decently good passes. Like I'm not throwing bad passes. Let me just walk over. I want to see that one more time just to see. Like you can tell, it definitely is visibly slower than my like, Hall of Fame. Obviously, I don't know if my controller's not. Not here. I want to be him so we don't steal it. He threw a bounce pass that time for some reason. But. You can see he's like throwing, he's like, it's a longer animation a little bit, but still not bad. I don't know. I still don't think it's bad. As my last, my last test is uh, both of them with 25 pass sack, which is the lowest they could be in the game. So let's just see what that looks like. Get away from me, Maxi. So yeah, that was kind of a slow ante. That's a slow ante. But it's not like, the biggest thing to me is they don't bobble the ball or anything. So, but I say, I don't know, it might not be the popular opinion, but this, this is what I think. If you're on a build, if you say you're playing point guard and you're like a record pro end player where it's going to be a lot of people on the court, I think in that case, it might be worth it to get the badge on really max bronze. Bronze the Hall of Fame to me wasn't a crazy difference. If you're at another position who doesn't pass the ball around, like on my center, on my center, I, I think I would actually put 25 pass at just because if I'm someone who plays park, mostly which is what i've been playing for the most part right now then it, it doesn't make sense for me to have pass act if i'm a two if, especially if you're if you're a twos court you don't need pass act at all from what i'm seeing there's like no one around really you could i'd rather you have your extra attribute points and not have to waste it on pass act so i might even do 25 if you're a full court player if you're threes uh pro and rec something like that then you might want it on bronze or just just higher than 25 maybe like even 70 i would say like even 70 is fine even if you're a crazy passer no higher than bronze what i would say if you're someone who doesn't get the ball that much playing center you're playing lock might even be able to get away with 25 and i think i honestly me i think i'll go with 25 i don't really pass a whole lot when i play center so that's just me but yeah that's my take on it so like i said just sum it up point guard no higher than bronze if you pass out a lot and i need a lot if you're someone who doesn't pass at all, you could really slide by with 25. As long as you're not throwing end line to end line. So you could actually be good with 25 pass at 2K24. That's my take on it. Appreciate you guys listening. Let me know down below what badge I should break down next. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I've actually been streaming daily park on Twitch. Please like, comment, subscribe to the video. And I'm out.